I'm going to show you how to properly terminate or crimp a Category 5 RJ45 network or Ethernet connection. This is the kind of connection you see on your computer, your modems, your routers, anything that is a wired connection these days uses an RJ45 connector. Um, so basically if you have a bad cable end or if you're working with raw cable, I'm going to show you how to crimp a new end on there. First thing you're going to want is a good cable crimper. They usually come with both 6 and 4 pin and 8 pin crimpers. Um, and anyone worth its salt usually has a stripping and a cutting part. Uh, this one's an ideal, you can get these at Home Depot, although this isn't actually the most ideal choice. Um, I don't like the way it's all closed off in the side here. If you ever want to cut anything in the middle of a cable or something with a, like a, a big connector on it, there's no way to get it over there unless you get it through this hole right there. Um, and it also makes uh, the stripping part a little bit uh, more uh, precarious because it wants to ratchet down on it. So I'll put a link down in the description to where you can get the recommended tool for the job. The other thing you're going to want are the ends themselves. Uh, if you order them online, you can get them on Amazon super cheap. I'll put a link down in the description uh, for those as well. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and cut off the end here, give ourselves a nice good starting point. So this side of the tool comes to a complete closure with the anvil, so that's a cutting side. And this side is open on the end, so that's uh, the stripping side. So we'll just stick it up here in the cutting side, make sure it's perpendicular, and cut the end off like that. Then we'll come over here to the stripping side, and we're going to stick it in. There's always a stop so that you know how far to stick the cable in, like that. You're going to go up to the stop, and then you're going to come down not about halfway and then release your ratchet turn it 90 degrees and do the same thing you don't want to come down all the way because that's way too much you're going to end up nicking the wires or even cutting a wire off so if you come down about halfway um, and then turn it 90 degrees and then come down halfway again you'll get uh, a decent cut and then grab your wires and just kind of pull on them a little bit and then take a look at your wire bundle there and you want to end up with the orange on your left and brown on your right so if you need to turn it to orient yourself to properly go ahead and do that so that looks good there so orange pair on the left and brown pair on the right like so sometimes they really want to fight you and they end up not where you want them so they end up kind of like all wonky go ahead and just cut them off you don't want to fight this thing That's a little bit better right there. Orange pair on the left, brown pair on the right. Blue pair is going to be right in the middle. And green pair is going to straddle the blue pair. So get them kind of where they want to be. And then go ahead and untwist them. And you're going to go orange pair, orange. So orange pair on the outside. Usually the pair will either be a white with a, a tiny colored stripe on it or sometimes they're just completely white um, and you only know because they're wrapped around their um, equivalent pair as is in this case. So the blue will go blue pair or blue blue pair. So blue pair is on the right, and then green, you're going to go green pair right next to the blue, and green right after the blue pair. So it's going to go 
orange pear, orange, green pear, blue, blue pear, green, brown pear, and then brown. And once you get them right about where they want to be, go ahead and grab them again and pull out. Give yourself plenty of slack to work with. And make sure they're still arranged properly. Like so. And if they seem kind of uneven to you, you can take a pair of scissors cut them straight, or take your tool, stick it in there, and cut them straight. You want them to be pretty straight. So, double check our connections. This is the order for a standard cable. If you want to do a crossover cable, um, I'll put the order in the description below, but uh, most modern routers uh, auto switch so you don't even need a crossover cable anymore. But just to double check, you got orange pair, orange, green pair, blue, blue pair, green, brown pair, brown. And then you're gonna orient the, the connector so that the little clippy part is down or away from you and you can see the golden pins. Just gonna stick them in there. Push it all the way to the end. Double check that it stayed in order. Orange pair, orange, green pair, blue, blue pair, green, brown pair, brown. And you can see all the way to the end. Make sure they went all the way to the end. And you're just gonna take your crimper, stick it in the eight pin slot, and crimp it down. If you're not sure about it, you can do it again. But pretty much get to a certain point and stop. You don't have to worry about getting uh, the sheathing of your cable in there. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on how tight the wire is wound. Um, but it's not a big deal if you don't get it. And it's, it's not going to hurt or help you either way. But as long as you get them all the way to the end and you get them in the right order, you're good to go. So you can either check it with a cable checker or you can just plug it into something and make sure you got your light there that shows that we're connected on the other side and this goes 200 feet over to the other side of the building so got a good cable crimp there be sure to subscribe to the channel